this is how we are going to uh, create the uh, parametric uh, cross section for this uh, uh, oval uh, grout tube. Okay, so first we need to um, go to this uh, catalog. All right, under the catalog you will find the define define profile, and then here you can uh, use the define cross section in sketch editor. Okay. So another uh, uh, editor will uh, will come up, and then as you can see, this one is our grid line, and then you have some drawing tools there inside. Okay, so this is the editor. This is the variable uh, um, dialog box, and these are the uh, the browser where you can uh, uh, see the properties of every uh, what do you call that lines that you're going to create here in our uh, sketch editor. So. Um, if you notice, this one is something like a grid line, right? But uh, if you uh, draw the uh, the line here on the grid line, so whatever the size of the grid line, if this one is 3 meter by 3 meter, then your profile will be 3 meter by 3 meter. It's too big. So what we can do is we can assume a size and then we can zoom in, okay? This one is something like we zoom in approximately uh, at this, uh, this size, okay? So now... Uh, I want you to, to get this uh, sketch polyline, okay? So click on the sketch polyline. So pick, since this one is a sketch, I can just simply click one, um, something like, uh, it, even we, it's not straight, it's still okay, right? Because you're just sketching, yeah. okay? So I just simply click, and then middle button of mouse. Uh, now don't close it, okay? Don't close it, because I have this, uh, coincident constraint that I'm going to connect these two so that to make it sure that this one is really close so click on this coincident constraint so now be careful on picking because uh, you can see this uh, end point so you need to zoom in and then click that end point and then the other one click this end point and there you go so you have now the close uh, line here on this drawing so to make it straight I can use my horizontal constraint and vertical constraint so meaning all the horizontal line I need to click one and then two even though even you see that this one is a straight line then you make it sure that you click on that one so that it will be uh, constrained to the horizontally mm -hmm. okay and as well as the vertical okay there you go All right, so now we're good to go. So uh, remember, we have this uh, uh, variable where your formula is. Okay, so we're going to create some formula here. So now <clears throat> we need to add the dimensions. So here, sketch horizontal distance. And then pick one and then two. One, two, three. One, two, and then three, the top. Okay, so you have three or nine, mm. right? And then vertical, click one, two, three again. So you have two or three. So remember, our uh, size is one hundred by five by fifty. Okay, horizontal. Look here, the formula here. I will type here one hundred, enter, and then this one is fifty. So here you can double check what uh, if uh, the things that you have done is correct or not. If once you change the formula, then it will follow the dimensions. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. All right. So uh, the next thing is uh, we can now add the radius. So you mentioned earlier that the radius here will be 25, 25 yeah. on each corner. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is to double click on this. Uh, a chamfer constraint. Double-click. Yeah. If you double-click on the chamfer, it will show the chamfer properties, right? Mm. So, in this case, you can just simply change this one. We, we'll fix this one. We'll fix it. So, uh, at the moment, we'll fix it. So, we'll, we'll use the fillet and then change, type this one 25 and then modify it. Okay? So, you, you have now this chamfer, right? Make it sure that you you click the proper uh, the proper point. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So now you can click now the four the four points. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe you pick one by one. So click here, modify. Oh, sorry. Click modify. Click modify. I think you need to double. Uh, make. It, click twice, not double click, but click twice. Because look, if I click once, that uh, okay. Maybe if I click one, you can see that's magenta color inside, right? That magenta color. So if you click another time, so there will be uh, no more magenta. Then you can now modify. Okay. Okay. Can uh, now. Um, the thing is, since this one is uh, earlier, I mentioned to you that it could be fixed. But since we're talking about the uh, uh, parametric cross section or sketch parametric cross section, mm -hmm. so we put a parameters here. So meaning later on, if you decide that uh, if the wall is bigger, then our uh, pipe will be much more bigger. Mm -hmm. So instead of creating another profile, then we can just simply change the the size of this one. Okay. So meaning here. If you have now this, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, formula here, right? Mm -hmm. So you can just simply say, show this one, show, and then this one also show. So meaning I can, this one is parametric now, and we can see that one in the dialog box. May, then here, you can type the, the label in the dialog box. Let's say the label will be, uh, uh, is it length or height? Or leg or okay, you can put length. Sorry, and then this one is uh, width, right? Okay. Now, uh, how we are going to to change the the radius? Okay, the radius. Remember. Uh, each and every point has this jumper here, the jumper constraint. Remember here, right? Mm -hmm. the, the one that we modify. So this, this sketch browser is the properties of each line here or point here. Correct? correct? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to add one parameter here. Okay, one parameter here. Now, we can, uh, we can create a simple formula here. Remember, our radius is 25, right? Yeah. 25 is half of 50. So it means the length divided by or the... Or the, the width divided by 2. And then I can use that one as my jumper. Yeah, but this one is how to show the radius of the... Correct. Dimension. Correct. That's right. Yeah. Yes. But if you want, if you want to uh, have a separate, uh, separate uh, <clears throat> uh, input or key in, in the uh, radius, then we don't need to create a formula. Creating a formula means you make it automated. So whatever the height of, whatever the width of the uh, the ground tube, then it will divide into two, and then that will be the value of uh, of our radius. Do you want that one, or do you want to have a separate one? I think you can just follow the width. Width, and then divide it into two. Yeah. Okay. So in that case. Uh, here in P1, I need to make a uh, uh, what do you call that a formula here that uh, I can just simply add equal sign then H1 H1 over 2 Okay, and then enter so look 25 Or uh, Again actually this one you can also type here um, H1 times 0.5 it's also 25. I think um, 0.5 is better. 0.5 is better. Yeah. It's faster. It's yeah, faster. The, the, the preferred times instead of divide. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's why I I changed it. So I'll put this one as a radius, but no need for me to show this one. Okay. No need for us to show that one in our lab label in dialog box. Why? Mm -hmm. Because this one is automated. We don't need to touch that one. So, but the thing is, we need to equate this P1 to each and every corner. Mm -hmm. Correct? So, all you have to do is to copy this P1. Copy. So, first, the first corner, this one. So, here, jumper constraint. Mm -hmm. So, that one will be under the jumper X value. Correct? Oh, Add equation. Okay. And then, paste. So, meaning, look, if I double click on this one, 
So this x is that chamfer x. Mm, okay. Okay. So clear? No need. No need. Okay. So it's clear, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to uh, select this one again, the the next point, and then expand that one. Chamfer x is equal add equation. There you go. And then do that one to the rest of the uh, oh, chamfer constraint. Yes. All right, so done. Okay, now it's time for us to close it and then save it, right? So now, what, what prefix you want to use in this profile? Because there are some D, P, D, pipe diameter or something like that. Or can change later, right? Yeah, we can, uh, we can always change that one later, but actually that one is just a profile name. Right. The profile name and the prefix, prefix is going to show to show it uh, on the in your bill of material. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just show the name. So if, if that is the case, then we can we can uh, put that one any name at the moment. Yeah, okay. okay. So let's say we put uh, uh, pure genesis means PG. Let's say PGD something like that, right? Just uh -huh. uh, to put some name. Okay. So close sketch. And then say yes. So I'll type PGD. Okay, but you can again you can put any name or any prefix on here. Okay, so click OK, and there you go. It's already saved. So immediately we can use it. Okay. How? Look. So beam. Pick one and then two. Okay, that one is the uh, the, the steel beam. Just double click on this and then here from the profile you can just simply type here the uh, PGD filter and then you can see here now the PGD here. As you can see the length and width this is the one that we showed in the dialog box earlier if you remember. Mm -hmm. Okay and then 100 by 50 apply and okay and then modify look PGD 150 modify so this one is my PGD. 150 but again okay let's uh let's uh because this one at, at the moment it's solid yeah okay so we need something like a hole inside so we need to make a thickness mm -hmm. right earlier we did not put the thickness yeah. okay so anyway uh, that one is okay because uh this is the good thing this is good thing because we can uh, i can show you how we can modify this uh, profile so to modify this profile, I want you to go back to the catalog and then profile catalog and then here you type here PGD or PGD filter. So look, select the PGD, mm -hmm. right click on that one and then edit profile. Then it will go back again to the this uh, profile uh, editor. Mm -hmm. So to add the, to add the uh, thickness of the pipe, it's as simple as this all you have to do is just simply add parameter again okay add parameter and then this parameter I'm going to show it because I will type here thickness okay or pipe thickness okay mm. pipe thickness and then let's say I'll put here two millimeter right Anyway, I can put any any value here because this one is parametric, means we can change later. Huh? Okay, so look, uh, once I uh, create this parameter 2, I can copy this and then select again the line, this line, right? So once you once you click this, uh, this line, it will uh, uh, highlight in the uh, sketch browser, okay? But you don't need to go to that particular line, but you need to select this thickness. Yeah, there's a thickness, right? That's why I told you it's quite simple because all you have to do is right click, add equation, and then equate the P2. And there you go. I thought I have to make another one. No. Smaller and then the thickness. No need. No need. That one is possible, but you don't don't make it complicated. Okay. So here, see, you have the thickness. All right, and then close it. And then say yes, look, 
Once I click yes, and then already exists, yes, and then close, and there you go. You can have this uh, profile of the uh, corrugated pipe, okay? Of course, the normal one is circle, then this one is the oval shape. Okay, let's say, let's modify this one first, right? Because to check uh, if our rules can be, uh, will work, okay? So in this case, I'm going to type here 200, 200 by, by 100, and then enter. So look, it works, right? And also the thickness, if I type 10, 10, so 10 thickness, 10 thick. Okay? Now, uh, your question now is, what if I want to use this one in other model? So all you have to do here is, okay, first of all, if you go back to the uh, model folder, because this one is added in the profile database. Yeah. So you will notice here that the profile database here will be updated. If you copy this one, if you copy this and then put that back or uh, copy to the Tecla structure 2019, and then you can see here the environment and then Southeast Asia, general. Under the general, you will find the profile. Mm, okay. So you can see here profile bin. So this one, if you uh, paste that one, so it will overwrite this profile bin. This one is, no matter which model I start, they will always... Yes, that's right, that's right. Now, but the other way is this. The other way is this. So you need to go to the uh, um, um, catalog again, and then profile. So now you type here PDG, uh, PGD. Okay. So the other way is this. Select this one, right click, and then you click here export. So you export the UEL file. It's like the custom component. So look, if I export this one as, let's say, uh, uh, P, P, PDG, PGD, okay, click OK. So now, it is exported to the model folder and named PDG, PGD, UEL. So this one. Okay, so now if you want to use that one, let's say this one is the other model, it's the new model, right? So what you can do is go to the to this uh, application and component and then here click on this uh, access advanced uh, this information or features so you can see here import custom component because UEL is for the custom component and as well as the uh, sketch parametric cross-section so you click on this one and then open so you can see here cross-section of course is already exists okay so now that is how you uh, uh, create the sketch parametric uh, cross-section and this is how you also export that one uh, to uh, to use in other models okay.